Happy New Year, Sagittarius. Welcome to your January reading. We're going to see everything that's coming in for you. I have already shuffled everything so that we can just go for it and know that I'm doing Aries to Pisces at the end. Um, I'm going to look at who's coming towards you and what kind of relationship that is. So that will be the end piece. I do see the devil energy. That's Capricorn. So it could be just straightforward Capricorn season. Um, or there's a Capricorn around you or something going on uh, during Capricorn season. Um, Capricorn does take us into the new year. Are you going to let go of what no longer serves you and move into the new year Um a fresh start because we got square energy here Sagittarius which talks about restrictions and obstacles pressure maybe you're feeling pressured a lot of pressure to take take things in to 2023 that um that you don't really want to because we got who in the world are you getting to know the new you you're changing there's something about you a lot about you that's changing and you may you may be noticing that uh, you have a lot of demands on you and it's creating um resistance um or, or you have connections or attachments to people still or places or things or limited beliefs and fears that are holding you back from you exploring the new you it's like you know but you don't want to let go right so you know there's more out there and you know you want to go explore but you're still you're kind of keeping one foot in in 2022 as you're moving into 2023 all right we've got two house two we got libra energy and we've got um, marzi energy so some of you could have a lot of conflict with relationships in general, it could be based off of financial, um, it could be meeting somebody's expectations. Maybe you can't, you know, you, you just feel like you can't meet other people's expectations or they're not meeting your expectations. Um, there seems to be a lot of power struggles and arguments that are happening between you and a partner or you and any relationship because Libra talks about relationships in general. Now, house two talks about your self-worth as well. Are you creating boundaries? Do you, Are you standing up for yourself? Are you defending? in yourself are you um with that marzi energy you know um are you fighting back uh, you know i just feel like moving into 2023 you may get tired of fighting back maybe you do and it's time to let go of these situations they're just draining you they're holding you back from financials too like for some of you that really want to live a certain lifestyle you're clinging on to people that are happy with where they're at have you ever felt like that like you want to explore more you want to you want to see what's out there you want to you want to make it big or do something big or do something with your life and you might be around people who are still like nine to five you know just happy with what's going on and they're not wanting to make any change in their life and you are being called to do something different and you know it you're the sign of the Sagittarian all right you're the sign of expansion and higher learning. So your soul, I believe, is here to explore that. And you have a desire to do that and travel. But your attachments, maybe it's just your attachments to your material things, um, att attachments to things you know that you think you need. Um, you might be uh, attached to these beliefs, like you truly believe you're not worth something. Um, but these are things that need to be reevaluated uh, as you're moving into 2023. Because January, let's see, um, let's see some of the things that are coming in in January now at Tarot. Let me pull some of these cards. Ah. Oh, so this one, this one I'm going to take if I can reach it. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm doing the best I can with traveling. All right. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. All right. Do not be tempted to lower your standards for other people. All right, it's time to cut uh, ties with that. I do see here recognition, reward for merit as well. And I see plenty of material things coming your way. All right. So again, somebody could be holding you back from getting what you want financially, work-wise, position-wise. Um, you know, it's just lowering your vibration. Even if it's just that, like your confidence, you, you are, what is it like influenced by the five people that the most by the five people that surround you the most. And so it might be time to take a look at that. You may be lowering your standards. Um, 
And that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, let's look at tarot. Let's look at you. What What's going on with you? Your challenge. Who's coming towards you? Um, what spirit wants you to know? Um, maybe something about more about money, finances. And then I'll do Aries to Pisces. But I do see plenty is coming your way. You will be rewarded um, for your hard work. So it does seem like there's going to be some sort of increase or movement when it comes to career and money. If you've been feeling like you're dealing with obstacles or a lot of pressure at work, um, this is where I feel like you'll be rewarded for that. So here you are, the Knight of Cups. Look at you just following your heart, doing what your heart desires, trying to bring love to the world, trying to bring love to the people around you. You got a great energy, Sagittarius. I love you. <laughs> I do. I love you. All right. Uh, the Knight of Cups energy. It's like you're ready to express your feelings. You... Um, you're so lovey. It's like you just, you, you want to be in love, right? But you're following your heart. This is also a business too. It's like your heart's pulling you somewhere. The challenge is the page of pentacles. I mean, the knight of pentacles could be a, a specific person around you that's holding you back, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. They move too slow. They procrastinate. They're holding you back. Maybe it's procrastination holding you back. All right. Maybe you're stuck in the same old, same old job and you're just, you you know, you, the pressure to move, the demands to move. Maybe this, you, you want to, you're creating your own resistance, right? Your heart's pulling you somewhere else, but you don't, you're attached to comforts. You're attached to what you believe is all you, that this is comfortable for you. You might not know that or see that there's more, but you feel safer here, okay? Um, so you might be procrastinating and moving slow or self-doubting yourself, um, being hard on yourself, being too critical on yourself, okay? Or it could be somebody else that's doing this to you or the people around you, surrounding you, have this energy of being hypercritical and um, they have low self-worth, so they bring, you know, misery loves company, right? So who's coming towards you as well? We've got a queen of cups coming towards you. So we've got someone very loving and nurturing, somebody who might be a little bit older than you, but somebody who's very, very caring. You, you, you're holding yourself back here, Sagittarius from somebody here that is just as loving as you and just as um, sensual or, you know, just wants to, um, they're very kind and care about, care about uh, compassion and love. So they're not somebody here that's trying to hurt anybody. Um, they're just a very kind person that I feel it's coming towards you. Spirit wants you to know to trust your higher self. Spirit's trying to show you the way. You got the high priestess. The high priestess is asking you to take a step back. Knowledge is power. Take a step back and observe. Listen. Listen to what's going on around you. All right? And make the best decision for yourself. Listen to your higher self, your guides, your ancestors, God, you know, you're, are trying to communicate with you. You already know the answer. All right? You have a real strong watery energy coming towards you and you've got this earthly energy holding you back and earthly energy is you know our ego uh you know material things wealth um people um work things like that um insecurities and you're just being asked to continue to follow your heart and, and whatever wall this is, whatever whatever square this is, whatever devil this is, whatever attachment, it's like cut this out and get to know the new you. Trust that the new you, it's like trust that the new you is going to lead you to finer places, bigger and better, what you truly desire. And so you know all this, but it's about trusting, right? So what else does Spirit want you to know? Look at this new adventure coming in. Things are going to be very exciting. We got the Knight of Wands. There could be a, even a fire sign coming towards you. But this could be a new job adventure, a new opportunity, ambitious. Something coming in for you. Um, you know, when you when you follow your passion, if it's about work, it's like you're going to take off. It's going to be so fun. And you're also being asked to be spontaneous. 
all right? And to follow your passions. You may even meet a friend, a fellow friend, a new friend coming in. So this person is coming towards you um, who may even offer assistance or help you along the way once you decide to make that move, all right? This could be a date coming in, somebody who's waiting to date you, somebody who's been waiting for this opportunity. But this is about you not procrastinating anymore and being spontaneous and getting out there because you have some fun. You have some serious excitement coming your way. You've got a difficult choice to make. The two of swords, right? The two of swords is not seeing eye to eye, not listening, your heart and your mind, your ego and your heart and uh, arguing each other. So this is about, you know, trying to find equilibrium, balance and making the right choice. And we have the seven of swords. The so spirit wants you to stop tiptoeing around this. Um, you're clever. You know how to get through. So if you're sitting here making excuses that you can't figure things out, it's an excuse. You've been just tiptoeing around this for a long time. It's time for you to be happy and to make yourself happy and to go after what you want. You do have a lot of people showing up in your reading. So I do feel like you have a harem of people that might be um, you know, holding you back. Um, or maybe, you know, maybe I have it wrong. Maybe they're trying to lift you up, but you're holding yourself back. All right. It could be either way. All right. But this is about Marsy energy. It's time for you to take charge. 1111, 11, when I said that, time for you to take charge and initiative and be ambitious and go for it because 2023 is, is, you can do whatever you want in 2023. And I just feel like you'll be super successful. You know why I'm saying that is because if you're following your heart and passion, you're going to be successful. Anything else Spirit wants you to know? Look, the four of cups, all right? You're focusing on the wrong cups. You're focusing on the wrong cups. There's a cup right around you. You're in this energy of the four of cups, which can be bored, discontent, unhappy with where you're at, unhappy with how relationships are showing up for you. Um, it's a mindset. You might have everything, you, you have everything you need, but you might not see it. You also can be around energy like this and it's bringing you down because this isn't typically a Sagittarius quality. So we have, you know, you've got it all around you. You've got the opportunity and you've got somebody trying to come towards you to say, hey, right? And at the bottom of the deck, that's my knee, guys, rubbing against. I keep saying that in every video. This is funny. Um, Y'all gonna be thinking I'm farting back here. I'm not, promise. All right, the sun card. All right, stay optimistic. All right, the sun card. Blessings coming in for you in January. You've got a lot of... Um, you've got some people coming towards you in January, um, some people that you want in your life. It looks like, you know, one major player here, but you have um, maybe some people holding you back. The sun card, Leo energy, blessings come in your way. Um, follow the, follow, stay optimistic and follow the sun. Things are being illuminated for you in, in January. Things are going to show up for you where you're going to have to decide what makes me happy and what am I doing for other people. Follow what makes you happy. Follow the sun. All right, let's do Aries through Pisces for who's coming towards you and what kind of relationship this will be. All right, who's coming towards? We see strong, watery energy, so very emotional energy, somebody who's in their feelings, somebody who honors their feelings, somebody who cares about their feelings, and same as you. You came in as the Knight of Cups, all right? So it's like equal attraction here. E there's equal love here, but what's going on for those of you that already know who this person is? Um, and there's a possibility these cards will show somebody here that you have yet to meet, but it's who's coming towards you, and it could be what you're, you're up against. Against. All right, Aries, true love with Aries, and it's going to come in when you least expect it, but I feel terrible for hurting you, all right? It's going to happen when you least expect it. Surprise, Taurus, 11-11, Taurus, that came in twice in your read now, long distance, all right? So they may be at a distance, they're coming towards you. Uh, pay attention to synchronicities um, because 
and pay attention to 1111 because you know it's like the law of attraction is trying to bring these two soul counterparts together divine is long distances maybe a while it may have taken a while this could be the time that's coming in it doesn't have to be a long distance relationship but it could have been you guys have been distant from each other or emotionally distant from each other for a while we have Gemini. Look at this union. Divine counterpart. Expect some sort of a miraculous event to come in in January. Uh, this person abandons people to make themselves feel important. It's more that they abandon people because they're afraid to be abandoned. Um, and it scares them. So you're, you might be the one to make change with this person. Um, when you least expect this one too with Gemini. It's coming in for you in January. We have Cancer. Um, even when you you're you feel lost with cancer, there's always a way through. All right, there's so much I want to tell you. Cancer says so. This isn't over. Okay, you might feel lost. It's just temporary. Leo is in their emotions. Look deep within yours. You guys are feeling the same. They're reminiscent. Virgo. You guys are learning a lot from each other, so let love show you how to love each other, all right? We see friends or families disapprove of this connection, all right? You guys can make it through this. That's Virgo, right? Okay, Libra. Yin and Yang, you guys totally balance each other's out, um, balance each other's, balance each other out, okay? Um, so whatever's going on, it's you guys will work through this or you can work through this. They miss you. Or they miss being with somebody like you if it's somebody new. Um, but you guys will balance each other out. Scorpio, this is a, t a relationship meant to test you. We do see your strength and weaknesses are being tested. They have sexual fantasies about you. So it's a very strong sexual c connection with Scorpio. Um, and it might skew, you know, the way you feel at times, all right? So pay attention to that. We have Sagittarius, rekindle. You guys will re. Um, you guys will recon rekindle, but you guys may be finding that it's the end. You may break up in January or you may have already broken up, but this is only a temporary moment, okay? We have Capricorn. All right, avoid the trap of mistaking a fantasy for true connection. They need time, all right? They need time to think. This could be a fantasy relationship. Uh, Aquarius. All right, there's a, no separation. You guys are one, all right? This is an, um, a very strong soul connection with Aquarius. And look, they love you. This is like enlightenment, top of the top of the chain here. Um, we have Pisces. Trust, you guys need to have trust in order for this relationship to work. They check on you from afar, but you guys can't trust each other. I love you guys. Hopefully you enjoy these readings. Please like and subscribe. I am traveling, so I'm doing the best I can with all these little areas I'm working in. Um, take care and Happy New Year.